Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rinku, and today I have the patch notes for April 4th, and I'm gonna try and make this video before I lose my voice. Let's see if I can do it. First, we're gonna talk about events, but before we talk about the big event that they released today, let's talk about all the smaller ones. Uh, first up, Sharp and Hard Black Crystal Shard Gathering Drop event has been extended. I'm not even sure if it was working in the past, but it has been extended for the next two weeks, ending on April 18th. Also, if you have a useless weapon box, open it now because it will expire in two weeks. There's also a change to the discount coupon, this is for new adventures, uh, but basically it's now a reward for hitting level 56. And the last thing they have on here under the event list is, uh, I guess there's an event for the fact that you can now get deep blue hoof fruits from gathering with empty bottles and you just gather water. And uh, because this is a change, they just sent out 10 free hoof fruits to everyone. So it's, it's in your mail, 10 of these things. It's the thing that you need to get a T9 horse, so if you're not trying to get that, I guess hold on to it or sell it, but that's an event apparently. So that was the trailer to Ellie's Mystical Lake Festival, and this reminds me a lot of the Termian Water Park in scale and, and theme, however, this is an entirely different event, entirely different location, entirely different concept, kind of. There are four parts of this event, some are familiar, simple things that almost all events have, and it gets a little bit more detailed at the end. So let's go down here to part number one. Part 1, just like any other events, is the challenges. So you click Y and the challenge is to play an hour or two a day. If you play an hour a day, you get these two items, but make sure you play at least two hours a day because you're going to need the other two items. And uh, if you combine the first three items, you get a box or a spring rose water. And you can open this to get any randomly of these items, one of these items. Now the fourth item is actually obtained from part two as well so you can defeat monsters gather or fish and you will also receive the fourth item that has nothing to do with making the box but you get health experience plus 200 and luck plus two so that's pretty cool currently in game all the normal food share a cooldown and the only way to get health experience is by eating food so when they have events like this that give extra health experience, you can really use this to capitalize and actually raise your health more than usual. Part 3 is a mini game, and it says the splashy water balloon will appear every hour in the event area. So basically, you need to get a small water balloon to throw at the big water balloon, and if it successfully hits, then you get loot. I think that's all there is to it. So that's basically it uh, and the loot is as follows it's actually pretty good loot the worst being Elion's tier and black stones but you can also get mem frags hard sharp shards and even a gold coal can so definitely throw balloons at balloons part four is what really gives this event depth in my opinion what reminds me of termian water park because it has quests it has a ton of quests so there are a few that are available once per family and there are a few others that are daily quests, so you'll be coming here every day to do the events, to do the quests, to play for an hour or two, and you get tons of rewards, it's not just like one event or two events, it's like tons of events packed into a theme park in the game, it's just, it's really cool, so definitely check out these quests, I haven't even had time to go check it out yet, but after this video, you bet your ass that I'll be there. And at the very bottom, it does say event caution, and I do want to point this out, because there are things that are sold there, for like 10,000 silver or so, so just make sure you bring like 100k or something in your inventory. Uh, these might be used for the quest or they might be cosmetic things, I'm not really sure yet, but uh, that's that. So it's, it seems like a really fucking cool event. It has a lot of parts to it, so even if you don't experience the whole thing, you might want to just go check it out. For the actual content changes, we don't have much this week, and I expect a lot coming soon as far as huge content updates, but because we got the crazy event today, there's only two things I want to look at. The first thing is the change to the Trina Axe. 
I want to point out that they say specifically that the attack mechanism and movement of the Trina Axe has been improved. However, at the very bottom, it says because the Trina Axe is faster and more versatile, its damage has decreased by about 50%. That is fucking huge. Now, I'm sure it's still going to be useful. I'm sure everyone's still going to be using Trina Axes. And supposedly, they're faster, more versatile. But I can't calculate how much more faster or, or how much more versatile or how much that's going to affect everything. The only thing I can tell you for sure is that its damage is decreased by 50%, which is fucking huge. So, it's a, it's a change that you should probably be aware of, but they will still probably be useful. And there might be a better method of how to use it. Like, I'm not sure what the best way... How to best use a train axe, you know, do you, you do the left click, the right click, the left plus right click? I'm not even sure, but that is that. The only other change I want to look at is under monster changes, and it has to do with drop rates for certain monsters. Now, the catfish and the schultz, some items have been increased, some ha items have been decreased. I think the purpose is to not clutter your inventory. I'm not going to go over every specific one, you guys can just look at it here. I'm, I don't even know if anyone cares about that kind of stuff, but at the very bottom, there's also another change. The drop rate to Asula Crimson Eye Earrings from the Monsters at Helm post has decreased by 30%. Interesting. So, like I said, there were a ton of quality of life updates and bug fixes and all this other stuff, but not a lot of things caught my eye, things that I wouldn't really notice if I logged in game, things that I would think you don't really care about. I'm sure I missed something, I always miss something, but I think that's going to cover it. Also, huge shout out to the person that's been sitting next to me for the past 20 minutes who I just wanted to get in the video because they knew me and I probably have been wasting a ton of their time, but you made it in the video in every clip. Thank you so much and I'll go tell you that the video is done and you can be free now. <laughs> Thanks again. On to the pearl shop. Yes, you can still buy Spring and Atanas, the outfit plus the little lamb, they also have a Merce palette. Comment, why would you want that? Just buy a value pack. But more importantly, they added some sick as fuck Kunoichi outfit and ninja outfit. So these outfits, they just look really cool. I just have to say that. I mean, I don't even mean to do these classes, but fuck, I want these outfits. Look pretty cool. And they also have some uh, curtains. If you want some curtains, there are some curtains. All right, so I think that's it actually. Very short patch notes. Mostly in the events. Definitely check out the Ellie Water Park event. I really want to. I'm gonna go do that right now. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.